in this video, I'm going to be showing you one of the most stupid mistakes you can make in Python. And it's a fair mistake to make, even though your code editor is probably going to warn you about this. But not all of us use code editors with intelligent feedback, such as PyCharm. So let's go over this mistake and understand why it is a mistake. So first of all, we're going to create a function called add item because pretend you have a list that you want to add an item to. And inside this, we're going to specify the item we want to add, which is just going to be a string in this example. And we're going to specify the list that we want to add this item to. So it's going to be of type list and we're going to give it a default value of an empty list. Now PyCharm immediately is going to warn us that we should not use a mutable default argument. And I'm going to show you why we shouldn't do this because again, your code editor might not show you why this is the case, why we should not use it. And also if you don't know what the consequences are, then you're just going to blindly code. So it's good to know why you shouldn't do this. So inside here, we're going to type in items.append and here we're going to append the item. So we're appending the item to this empty list each time we create this function. Now here we're going to print a formatted string that says ID and I want to get the ID of the list. So ID of items. And we're going to also insert the items so we can get the ID of the list followed by the items itself. And this list should return the item. It should return the updated list. So if we add one item, it's going to return the list with that item. So the first thing we're going to do is create two lists using this function. So we will have list A, which will equal add item. And we're going to add the letter A. Then we will duplicate this, change this to list B and add the letter Z. So these are two letters completely distant. Next, we're going to print the list A and we're going to print list B. And what you're going to notice is that list A and list B are the exact same list. Even if we specified it here that each time we use this function, we want to create a new list, it only evaluated this once. So it created it once and it used it throughout the rest of the program. And this is one of the major side effects of adding a mutable variable inside your parentheses. It's only going to evaluate that once, which means that even if we create a new list and add an item to it, it's just going to use the other one that was already created. So list A and list B are effectively the same list. And this means also that if we want to add new items to these lists, so if we type in, for example, add item of B to list A, and then we want to add item of Y to list B. You'll see it's still going to update the same list because it's still referencing the same variable with the same ID, which means that both of these lists are actually just wasting our time because they're pointing to the same list. So that's why it's bad practice and just not reliable to create an empty list in the parentheses. And to fix this, it actually takes nearly no effort. We just need to make sure that we give this a default value of none. We want to show that, we want to tell the program that if we create a new list such as this one without providing a list, just set it to none. And of course, if we run this right now, we're going to get an error because none cannot add items. So we're using the wrong data type there. But the reason we put none there is because that will help us with adding an extra check. And here we're going to create a guard. So we can type in if not items. So if items is empty or none, we can say that the items of type list is going to equal an empty list. So now by default, this will be set to none, which means when we create a new list, such as this one over here, without specifying a list, it's going to evaluate to none, making it that making making sure that we will create a new list for each time we use the function for the first time. And if we run this now, you'll see that it is behaving properly. List A is containing the letter A, list B is containing the letter Z, and they both have different IDs because each time that we created the list, this was none, which means we were able to create a new empty list. And then if we wanted to append something to these lists, it did it properly. So list A has A and B and list B has Z and Y. 
then of course we can print both of these lists respectively because they are now two different entities. So that's the major reason why you should not use mutable default values. And this also goes for sets and for dictionaries. Anything that's mutable in general, you want to check that if it's not provided, you will create it. Otherwise, append to the one that the user provides. So that was one of the most stupid mistakes you can make in Python because the worst part about this mistake is that your code will still run if you don't have all of these checks. As you can see, it's gonna run just fine. It's just gonna have these weird side effects and it makes it really hard to debug, especially when you're tired or working in bigger projects and you have bigger data sets to work with you might not notice what's going wrong immediately. The only hint you get in PyCharm and possibly Visual Studio Code is that you should not use this default argument. So it's good to know about this before you continue working in Python because you will run into this error someday if you did not already know about it. But anyways, guys, do let me know what you think about this stupid mistake. Do let me know if you have other stupid mistakes that you've made in the past or if there are others that I should cover to help developers prevent making these mistakes. But with all that being said, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.